welcome to my channel my name is Gemma and I have a three-year-old son now called Oscar he's just turned three and I also have newborn triplet boys but this video is all about Oscar's third birthday presents I actually have on my channel a video all about first birthday presents and second birthday presents and now this one for third birthday presents so if your child is a slightly different age younger um, there is a video for you I will link it in the description box below and on the screen above now and this video like I say is all about what Oscar received for his third birthday in this haul of presents is a mixture of things that we have bought him and friends and family have bought him so it's not just all from us what I will say is this year what I did do was I actually ordered a load of things and then for um, the grandparents we said like this is the stuff we've ordered what do you want to give him because they always struggle to know what to get him and so I just ordered the stuff and then they chose which of the stuff they wanted to give um, and that worked really really well and I actually think in the future moving forward for birthdays and Christmases so that we don't end up with so much stuff now that we have triplets we've got four children um, and you know just having we're just going to be overrun with toys which we don't want to do and the toys that we do have we want to be really strategic and make sure that they've got lots of play value so it worked really well just I ordered it and then kind of gave them the list and pictures of everything that was ordered and then they chose what they wanted to give so I'm going to run through everything that he got I will say that all of these presents are super gender neutral they are not specific to either sex um, you know girls and boys can play with these and have equal enjoyment so just because my son is a boy doesn't mean that if your three-year-old girl would not enjoy these toys so the first present i actually cannot show you because it is too big is oscar's new bike so last birthday his second birthday we got him his balance bike we got a banana bike it has been absolutely brilliant i looked at so many balance bikes and price ranges and we actually ended up just going for a real real cheap I think it was 30 or 40 pounds on Amazon it'll be linked in the description box um, but it has lasted him this whole year he's got so confident on it it's been super lightweight he can now do kind of pedal pe um, push 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 and glide lift his feet up he's got that greater balance so he is going to be starting to need a pedal bike he has been eyeing up all the kids in the street with pedal bikes and saying that that's what he wanted now i think it's probably maybe a little bit too early he's only just three for pedals but he's got it there so we're going to keep the balance bike we're going to keep the pedal bike and try and transition slowly and give him some time we actually live in a cul-de-sac now so it's got great for just practicing but he wanted this pedal bike so I looked at loads on Amazon, loads of reviews and this one seemed to be the one that most people suggested was really good for their age, the right height and um, lightweight enough that they can balance on it, you know, and pedal. So that was his, um, you know, big main present from us. So next up he got three different games from Orchard Toys and I really really rate their products. They do great puzzles and games. Uh, they're all kind of wooden, made in the UK and uh, I really rate just how um, they're designed for the ages that they are. So they always have on them like a guidance of age range and I super super agree with what they say. So this first one is a catch and count so he's starting to learn. Um, within this game which I really love he is into counting and it's super simple not we're not like pushing it we're not doing a massive lesson on counting but it he'll like learn through playing the game but it also involves turn taking and I think at three they're definitely ready for that sort of thing so this one's catch and count it's about catching fish and putting them in your jar and then counting them all up and I think he's really gonna love that we haven't actually played it yet the next one is like their, well actually it says on the box, their number one bestseller and this one is for ages three to seven and it's the shopping list game. So basically what happens, I'll show you the back, you have a little trolley each and you have a shopping list and then you have all the little items turned over and then you turn them over and if it's on your shopping list you get to put it in your basket. So it's all about kind of organizing yourself looking at a list seeing if it matches and then putting it in your trolley and then once you've completed your shopping list you're the winner so really simple game but great for turn taking and then the next one is kind of similar to the shopping list but on a different theme this one is called let's go lotto and what you have in this one is four different vehicles so first of all you have to put them together they're like two piece two piece puzzles i think 
they're all two-piece puzzles so there's a bus a plane a boat and a train and then you have like a passenger list so similar to the shopping list and then you turn over the animals and if they're on your passenger list for your vehicle so say um, you've got the plane and you need a cow to be on your passenger list and if you find a cow you can put them in the plane and then you once you've filled your list then you're the winner so I really love these games because one it means that when I get some time with Oscar just to have some quality time we can actually play a game and he's at that age where that would be super fun for him and it's something that we can do together. Another item from Orchard Toys that we got as well is their big aeroplane jigsaw puzzle. This is a 30 piece puzzle. He is super into puzzles, what has been his entire life it feels like and we're now at kind of 30 piece. We actually have another one similar to this that is tractors um, from them as well and I just think they're brilliant. Oscar is really obsessed with planes as well and this one was from his nana and granddad who live in England and come on a plane so it really is fitting and yeah I think he's really going to love that. Again we haven't played it yet but I know judging by the other puzzle that we have from them that it's going to be super fun. Next up is some books and I have actually done a what's new on our bookshelf video. I don't know if it's going up before or after this one but you might see some of these are from that video. So um, I always like to get him a book about telling him how much I love him on his birthday. <laughs> and I was, that's the kind of book that I write in, like happy third birthday. And so I was searching for one like that and I came across this one. Um, it's an, actually a new release, I believe. And it's called, I'll love you. And then it's kind of like, I'll love you till the cows come home, that phrase. And it is a really, really nice book. Um, I'll just read you the first page. I'll love you till the cows come home. From a trip to Mars through skies unknown in a rocket ship made of glass and stone. I'll love you till the cows come home. The illustrations are really gorgeous. And then it's like, I'll love you till different animals come home, basically. But it's super, super lovely. And we've already read it and he loves it. So although it's like a book about love... <laughs> It's got like fire trucks and rockets and things like that in it as well, loads of different animals. So it's really appealing to children who are three. The next book I got him was to go kind of with his bike. Like I said at the beginning that he has got a pedal bike, but you know, that's going to be a challenge to go from the balance bike to the pedal bike. And this book I saw on a book Instagram page that I follow, like children's book Instagram page. And I thought that is perfect. So it's called The Magical Yet and I'll link all these below. And it's essentially about the, the power of the word yet. So if you can't do it, doesn't mean you can't do it forever. You just can't do it yet. And the analogy that they use at the beginning of the book is about riding your bike. So it's like um, you, you can't do it yet, but at one point you will. So it's like, like that shiny new bike you couldn't ride and it didn't matter how hard you tried, you couldn't pedal and you couldn't steer and you couldn't get that bike into gear. And so then it's all about the power of but you couldn't do it yet. And then these are the things that you're gonna learn how to do in time. So this is a super lovely book. And like I say, I've, I've done a whole video on books that are new in our playroom. So if you want to get books for your child's third birthday, have a look at that video as well, because that will give you some more ideas. But this one is super, super lovely. So next up is a present he got from his Nana and Granddad, and that is the Grimm's Rainbow Semicircles. We haven't unwrapped them yet. You know what it's like the birthdays, the amount of stuff that you get. <laughs> Um, so the semicircles complement the Grimm's rainbow and he got the rainbow for his first birthday and he uses it for loads of different stuff. It's a super open-ended toy. I know there's like lots of people that are like, do we need it? Do we, you know, no, you don't need it. Um, no, it's not a Montessori toy. You know, Montessori um, resources are very specific things, but it is an open-ended toy. So it can be anything. Yes, it's a rainbow, but he also uses it as houses, bridges, tunnels. He sits on them and rocks. Um, if he was here, he'd tell you all the things he uses them for. But it always ends up in a mess on the floor because it's been used for so many different things. So the semicircles complement it. These can be used, uh, they're just basically flat pieces of wood that match the same colours. But they can be used as play scenes. So you can use the green for the grass and put the cows on it and the blue for a pond. You can also use it to stack with the rainbow. Is there a picture on the back? Yes. Can you see? You can use it kind of to stack up and build like a little house um, if you mix it with the rainbow as well. 
So it's got loads of different play potentials. You can use it for marble runs and things like that as they get older. It's open-ended essentially. They're just semicircles that are coloured and your child will show you exactly what they can use them for. Um, and I have produced a couple of videos about open-ended toys. They are the most used toys in your playroom. They're the ones that will last for a long time. Yes, they might be slightly more expensive. Grimm's is a sustainable and ethical company, which is why they, their products cost a little bit more. But in my eyes, it's worth it because one, you know you're getting a quality product and people have been treated well and got a fair salary for what they've produced. But also the play potential and the quality of the product is second to none so really excited i think i'm maybe a bit more excited than he is at the moment about these but we will definitely have lots of fun next one is another open-ended toy that he immediately opened and has absolutely loved and they are mag formers so these and he actually got two sets so one set comes with the wheels so you can build vehicles and the other set was just extra pieces so basically they are magnetic uh shapes that you can you can put together and create different things um cars houses boats we've done so far he's lined them all up and created a track and then run his cars along them they're just an open-ended toy um there's lots of different versions of these online mag formers i guess are one of the named brands i know amazon on amazon there is cheaper versions of these like magnetic tiles so if your budget doesn't stretch to mag formers as such there is lots of different alternatives but i do really rate them they again are open-ended they are plastic yes but for an open-ended toy i kind of make an exception to um plastic toys because i know that they're going to last a long time next up if you've been following me for a while you will know how much um oscar loves playing with his lentils we have um what uh, like a metal drinks tray and he has scoops and things like that and he has uh, like a couple of bags of lentils in there and it is one of the most played with things that we own literally a drinks tray and some lentils so to mix that up i have now got him some kinetic sand and it's just the normal sand colour. I know they do like a rainbow of kinetic sand colours as well. This is the kinetic sand brand. I went for that because of reviews on Amazon of some of the cheaper brands that people were like, it doesn't work like it should. So I went for the, the real deal kind of branded kinetic sand. So I know he's going to enjoy that because of how much he enjoys his lentil play. And kinetic sand essentially means that it kind of sticks together. So rather than it being like regular sand and it going all over the place you can have it in your house and not be worried that you're going to get sand everywhere because it kind of clumps together so another gift oscar got from his grandparents was some additions to his wooden railway track so we have a collection of railway track that i got second hand and then we've just added extra pieces to it we've added some big jigs tunnels and things like that and we've also just got these new pieces these are brio but they match with our you know they're universal with the train track so he has a mechanical turnstile so he um, is a lover of thomas the tank engine and they obviously have a turnstile it's got this little um dial at the top so you can turn the train and then they can go into the shed <laughs> and he also got from them uh, again from Brio, this is the signal station. So this has the traffic lights at the top as well. And you can, it's like a piece of track as well. And it's got a little dial up here and you can turn it. So when a train comes, you can turn the dial and tell the train which direction it's gonna go in straight or turning kind of thing. So I really think that, that um, the wooden train track is a great gift. So if you haven't got any wooden train track, definitely look up on Facebook Marketplace or try and get it second hand because you can always find it and it's super cheap. And then you can spend the money on buying like the additions, bridges and things like that to make it more interesting. And it's a great thing for grandparents to know that you have because they can just buy an additional thing for birthdays and whatever. And you know that you're gonna get great use out of it then as well. And like I say, with my triplets, now I know that the train track is going to get so much use out of. So having little additional pieces like this, definitely going to get great play. Would it even be a birthday if Oscar didn't get another vehicle? No. <laughs> and so for his birthday from my really great friend, she got him this um, dumper truck, trailer and 
back hole loader combination. It's also got some walls and um, things that need to be, you know, moved around as well. In addition to that, we also have the fire engine and we also have the tractor and trailer. They're all really well played with and have lasted um, a long time already. He's had those a good year or so, the tractor, and he's just received this as his present from the babies. But they're great quality and he absolutely loves them. So I will link all of those, despite the fact he didn't get those for his birthday, but I'll link them down below in case you want one of those as well. So that is all of Oscar's third birthday presents. I really hope it's given you some inspiration. If you are buying for a three-year-old, don't forget I will pop the links to everything in the description box below. And if I can't find these specific things, I will try to find some alternatives for you as well. I really hope that has been helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.